that cooler looks awesome. Hello folks and welcome to NetCruiser Tech. This video is going to be about this desktop computer that I got. This was the CyberPower PC with the Core i5-8600K and it's a really powerful computer but it has a fatal flaw which is that this Cooler Master, it is completely inadequate. It just will not keep the CPU cool. Synthetic benchmarks or any play any kind of game, it thermal throttles almost immediately. So we're gonna swap out that cooler. So the cooler that I chose to go with is the Deep Cool Gamax GT. This is a fairly recent cooler on the market, maybe in the last year. Works with AM4, can run Ryzen, but it's also designed for Intel 1151 socket and it has RGB So you do pay a little bit more to get an RGB fan and RGB light up on the top of the cooler But this is a fairly robust Tower based cooler with big heat pipes and a 120 millimeter fan. So it should be significantly better Than this cooler master. So let's get this out of the box. So let's see what you get inside the deep cool Gamax GT both ways to control RGB lighting by cable controller and RGB sync motherboards. So if you don't uh, have RGB on your motherboard, which actually mine doesn't, the ASRock Z370 Pro 4 does not have an RGB header on it. So this will be, probably be all the cable, oh, this is all the mounts. So you get a bunch of metal hardware for Intel or AMD, you get the back plate, you get fan clips, and you get enough fan clips to do push and pull. Although you only get one fan with it, get some thermal paste and more wires. <laughs> That's a good slogan. Enjoy your cool life. I like that. And now we'll get this sucker out. So here it is. The fan is separate, but here's the cooler and it's, that's a nice looking cooler. That should be significantly better than what I've got. Well, I don't know if you call that four or eight. Technically, it's four heat pipes, but they go through and they go all the way up. It's solid copper all the way to the top. So those are big heat pipes. I am I have high hopes for this. Should be good. And the fins are thick too. So that's good. And you get this RGB fan with it. All right, the first thing I need to do is get this cooler off. This is the, the one that came with the computer that is overheating like mad. So, unplug the CPU fan control, undo these screws, and it should just pull right off. Hmm. All right, it's not too bad, but yeah, this cooler is just not effective. Out with the old, in with the new. I gotta clean it up though. Looks like there was a lot of thermal compound on here. It might have been a thermal pad. I'm gonna wipe that off with alcohol and then the back plate piece should just fall right off. It looks like it already has. And then put the new plate on. Something that you definitely do need is rubbing alcohol. That's how you clean off the thermal compound from the CPU. So that's exactly what I'll be doing. No, I don't need Q-tips, that's good. All right. Now, if you wanted to be like extra, extra cool, I could try and delid this. I could put some of that new magical stuff. What's it called? Liquid metal under the heat spreader. And that would be pretty neat, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do a typical cooler install. I figured it out, I had these going in backwards. So if you put them in the right way, which is you put the little stud through the hole in your position, then they do hold position. So they, they won't move around on me. So good, now I can just pop that on the back and pop on the front of the cooler. All right, that was actually pretty simple. Once I figured out that I was going the wrong direction, now I could just put in these little thumb screws. So yeah, just put in these little thumb screws. I would recommend you use a big flat screwdriver to screw those down tight because now your CPU cooler is gonna screw into those. And if those come loose, the whole thing can come off. Okay, putting these mounts on actually proved to be a little more difficult than I thought just because the fins are in the way so you got to use a fairly thin screwdriver to get those in and be careful with those do not strip them out because there's not much screw to them anyway I'm gonna put that on now next part is peel off nice 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 and then some 
thermal compound and screw this on. The instructions show to put the cooler on before the fan. I'm just gonna do a dry fit of it first to make sure that uh, things are actually gonna work out. Getting this fan installed was actually quite easy. The way that it clips onto the fan shroud was actually easy. All right, we are to the point now where I can install the thermal compound and install the cooler. It's gonna use a P, P amount right in the middle. like that. Now, moment of truth. Get all your cables out of the way. Have this plugged in the proper direction. Okay. There, that's it. Now, be able to tuck that in under there, around the back. And now I just gotta screw it down. Oh, and you can't get at the screws with the fan on. No. Whoops, I didn't even spot that with my dry fit. So yeah, start screwing that side down. Sucks. Oh, that sucks a lot. Whoops. See, look at me trying to think I'm better than the instructions. Flip the fan out of the way. Screw that down. I might be able to get at this one just with it swung out like that. Yes, I can. Of course, the last one's not lining up. Nope, I gotta loosen some of these off. All right, now I have to reinstall my fan. Slide it over, slide that on. That actually goes on quite easily, which is nice. Oh, I think we are installed. Now I just got a cable management. Cable management and hook up the lights. All right, here we are. It is installed and nicely cable managed. I still have the RGB wiring dangling off the back, but I'm gonna fire it up on here. Cool. Neato. Blinking blue is default mode. So let's figure out how to change that. So hit M button. Yellow. Blinking yellow. Purple. Blinking purple. Green. White. Red. Oh no, that's changing colors. Pulse colors. Blink, there was blink colors and pulse colors. Fade colors. Fade red. I guess I'll play around with it, see which which way I like it best. That was all right. In the end, I think this is the color scheme I'm going to start out with for now. I went with mostly purple, with a purple fade. Unfortunately, these red rings can't be changed, but I have fans on order that are the same as this, so I'll be able to get the same fan here and here, and maybe even another one here, and that'll look pretty sweet. So I left this on a static color. This is the lowest brightness of purple. And I moved RGB strip to the top so it's hidden. And I've just got it on a purple fade. Really like it. So now let's hook up a monitor and see what it did for temps. I've got this system with the GMAX GPU cooler. And I've been working on my overclock. So I've just managed to squeak out a 1208 on Cinebench, that's the best ever, and I am running at 5 gigahertz. We've got it at a 50 CPU ratio, and I just dropped the voltage down by another half a volt. It was running at 139 volts to get that 1280. I just dropped it down another half a volt, and I'm going to run my Cinebench and see what happens. If I can still stay in the 1200s. That was the first time I ever got 1200. Oh, I should have saved it. Whoops. Heat is, you know, getting up there, but uh, it's not bad. And it's and it's completely quiet. I can't hear the system. Nope, not quite. 1195. Anyway, 1200 Cinebench. That's nothing to sneeze at. That's really good. That's almost peaking the charts. That's my six core, six thread at five gigahertz is the same as a 12 core, 24 thread almost. And it beats out a six core, 12 thread i7. Sweet. This is a good rig. I am digging it. Oh, I turn the front panel off. Yeah, this is a sweet rig. That cooler looks awesome. So yeah, that's my CPU cooler upgrade and performance. All right guys, so if you uh, if you enjoyed this or it helped you, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. If you want to buy something, I'll put links in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. Best yet.
1211. That cooler looks awesome.